Doctors call it a historic moment in breast cancer treatment. An FDA advisory panel is approving a drug named Progetta to shrink tumors before surgery in early stage patients. The move comes over a year after Progetta was approved for late stage patients. In 40% of the cases, it worked so well that surgeons couldn't find the tumor they planned to remove. CBS News contributor Dr. David Agus leads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California and joins us. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Nora and Charlie. I know that you have been one of the first cancer doctors to use this drug. Why do you think it is so promising? Well, it's an exciting drug because it targets a particular pathway in the cancer, an on switch, if you will. And about 15,000 women a year have this very aggressive cancer with the on switch, and it turns it off. So targeted therapy generally is less toxic and really can have a major mm -hmm. impact on the cancer, as we see with this study. I mean, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> it, it's amazing to me. You got 40% of people uh, scheduled for surgery had the tumor reduced by the time of surgery. Yeah, it's very exciting. You know, classically, drugs are we try in advanced patients because they're willing to tolerate the toxicity and they have no other choice because generally, cancer, when it's advanced, we run out of treatments. And so it classically takes eight to nine to 10 years after a drug is approved for advanced cancer till we start to move it early. Well, the FDA had a major change and they said, you don't need to show survival advantage before we'll consider a drug. You just have to show something major is happening. And so in this case, the tumor going away, well, that's pretty major. And so we can now, a year after the drug is approved, get it for these patients. It's a major shift in policy. It's a major shift in thinking. If you have breast cancer, if you have someone you know who has breast cancer, what kind of patient, what type of cancer would be best served by this type of drug early on? So there's a particular kind of trans cancer driven by a molecule called HER2, H-E-R-2. And that's an on switch. That's in about a third of breast cancers. And when it's there, it's classically very aggressive. And these tumors cause major problems. Mm. And so we used to do the surgery and then treat, wait for it to come back and treat. And cancer is a disease that every time you treat, it gets more aggressive. One of the few diseases that does so. So the argument is let's switch and treat early because hopefully then we can make a major impact on this disease. Do you think there are other quick, and this is a quick answer, there are other drugs like this in the pipeline that will really be groundbreaking in the treatment of cancer? Oh, there are. And I think that's the exciting thing is that whether it be breast cancer or others, there are a number of drugs now being moved early. And this will be a major change in how we treat this deadly disease. All right, Dr. David Agus, good to see you. Important information. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.